Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again and today I wanted to give you guys the rundown as to why I'm not really playing or creating much Arcage content anymore. So before I start, I want to say that it's a bit difficult for me to make this video because I've been having trouble dealing with negativity on my YouTube channel recently and a video like this unfortunately seems to promote negativity and by no means is that my goal on creating this video. I simply have been getting an abundance of questions as to why I'm not playing Arcage, and I've been doing my best to try to explain it, but unfortunately it's always better to create a video. So with that being said, I want to state that before I say anything, I did actually acquire my goal or finish my goal of getting my 200 chrome scraps. So this, as you can see here, is the submarine, the chrome steamfish submarine. The main advantage to this one over the other ones is it moves 20% faster, which is not really that much of a big deal unless you're doing some like stealth maneuver tactics. Uh, but the cool thing is it's got a three player stealth. I say three player because it's got you, the person in the, the back seat, and then the actual submarine itself. It's a 30 second stealth with a 60 second cooldown, but the cooldown ticks when it starts. So kind of it's like a 30 second cooldown, 30 second duration. Now, uh, before I also start this, I want to state that just because I'm making this video doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to play Arcage content. If I decide to play Arcage in a week or two, you know, don't smite me for it. I'm allowed to change my mind. I, I, Arcage has a very special place in my heart, despite all of the stuff that's currently wrong with it. So let me go ahead and start stating kind of what led to my reasons. So, number one, I really really dislike the developer of Arcage which is XL Games and with a passion dislike the current publishers Gamago Games. Gamago Games has done nothing but hurt Arcage in so many ways that I will try to keep it to a minimum. Number one, their uh, publishing team has essentially when the first wave of exploits went out um, not only did they fail to ban the people who actually exploited content, if you don't like the term exploit, we can use bug abuse, we can use intended game mechanics if that's what you would prefer to use. However, they did not ban those people and in return they actually banned quite a few innocent people. Uh, as an example, my good buddy Etup who streams was falsely banned. Thankfully his was lifted only after like two days, maybe a day. But one of my other good friends, Kill, who is actually in my stream and plays in my guild, was banned for 12 days. How would you feel purchasing a game for $30, playing for 4 days, and then getting banned for 12 days? Not very fun, let me, let me assure you. Uh, with that being said, that was kind of Gamago's first oopsies. Their second oopsies was when they decided to state that people who abused systems in games were not their fault, it was Gamago's fault. It's all cool to try to take, you know, to try to not blame other people, but when you instead say that people have not been abusing stuff and you falsely implemented it, you basically tell people who didn't abuse, sorry dude, you didn't abuse this while I was here, so now you don't get to reap the rewards, and the people who did reap the rewards are just gonna stay ahead and that's how it is. A lot of people seem to think that when I use the term get ahead of people, it's just referring to gear. It's not just referring to gear, it's referring to fun. What I mean by that is, Arcage is gated by your labor. At the bottom left, you'll see that I have 1793 labor. You use your labor as a resource to do all of the fun things in Arcage. One of the things I'm doing right now is raising a sunken ship. That requires labor. To take the cargo off the sunken ship requires labor. To craft the things that allow you to do this requires labor. To acquire the submarine I'm using, somebody is going to have to craft the parts. You know what that takes? Labor. When people have an additional 20 to 40,000 labor, you only get like 2,700 labor a day. So they have all this additional extra playtime that they get to use that you don't. And that's the only thing I care about. I just want to have fun. That's all it comes down to. The other thing that sucks about this is with the perpetual increase on the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, the reason why this really hurts Arcage in my state, now this is my opinion, I'm not saying this needs to be changed, this is just for me. When I'm doing content like this in Arcage right now, there are people who are just going to keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and there's nothing you can do about it because they're running under three accounts, they're manipulating the auction house, you know, they're getting boosted by their friends, and normally it doesn't necessarily matter. 
but in Arc Age, all it takes is like five people to ruin everyone's fun. So for an example, after streaming what I'm doing right now for only two days, I got about 10 people who are constantly trying to find me out in the ocean while I was doing this content. And you know, it, of course it was inevitable, 100%. I'm not trying to make an excuse for it, right? Some people like to take what I say out of context. I just wanted to have fun and I noticed that simply doing something even like this, I just, I just can't do anymore. I was happy with the time I spent getting to this point, but Arcage can just be very, very frustrating, especially when the developers don't do a good job, the publishers don't do a good job, and the community can be extremely cutthroat. Does that sort of make sense? I try to distract myself from all these problems by, you know, doing my submarine content and, you know, essentially going out and exploring the world and the ocean. But this is pretty much just a band-aid. It's just something to temporarily push me away until I get to start doing the fun things, right? So let me explain where some of this started. I decided I wanted to start PvPing again, right? Because PvP is part of the reason why I played. I just wanted to get this stuff started first. So I go into Arena. And within 2.2 seconds of an arena starting, I got one shot by an archer. There's nothing I could do. It was not skill based. I literally just got instant one tap by a guy from 30 meters away. And you know, I just came to the realization of like, a lot of the things I like to do in Arc Age Alpha cannot really be done anymore in the current state of Arc Age because of how the gearing system works. The gearing system in its current state requires gold and requires labor. Well, labor is a limited resource. Labor is literally what allows you to do the sandbox elements. When you're spending your labor on your gear and you're making gold that goes into your gear, you don't really have anything else to do. So the people who are constantly going to be excelling can prevent the people who are not excelling from doing the content that they want them to do. All it would take to stop me as an example is five to 10 people knowing where I'm going to go and just constantly intercepting me, which is something that is bound to happen, which is why I decided to stop Arcage before I got to that point, right? I often sometimes in games play them a little bit too long, even if I, even if I like the game, but I know that it's going to frustrate me. I'll play it because that's what I want to do. But sometimes it's much better to have your fun in a game and stop playing before you get to the point of where you're jaded by it and you're sick of it. Does that sort of make sense? This happened to me a lot with Path of Exile where I noticed I was playing the game and I thought I was having a lot of fun, but I really wasn't. So I would force myself to play and then all of a sudden I would take a break for one to two months and I wouldn't really feel like I wanted to play the game again because of those previous feelings I had. Whereas if I took a break earlier, I would have been much more excited. So with Arc Age, I only played the game for two, three months in alpha and quit and never went back. So when I came back now and played, I only played for a month and I'm, I had a ton of fun. Despite all the stupid, nasty stuff that were happening, the only reason why I'm making this video is because people keep asking why I stopped and need an in-depth explanation because they don't really understand. So that's literally the only reason I'm making this. There's no other reason. That's why it's been delayed for 10 days because I didn't really want to make it. Now, uh, with this right here being said, you're going to see the submarine content. So basically, we used the submarine, we located the sunken ship, uh, we pulled up the trade packs, and now we're going to go ahead and turn those trade packs in, which is what you're going to see. So um, with that being said, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about the direction of the channel and where we're going to be going and what other content is going to be on here if there's not really going to be much Arcage content. So with that being said, I'm going to pop up a little notepad here. So, oopsies, I don't know how that just happened. There we go. So, I started last epoch already on the 17th. I haven't uploaded anything for it yet. This is an action role-playing game. I'll probably post one video. Uh, last epoch is a game that I've been following, you know, loosely ever since its, its initial development. Uh, I did the exact same thing with Path of Exile and I did the exact same thing with Grim Dawn. And both of those now, in my opinion, are fucking phenomenal and fantastic games to play. So Tree of Saviors is the game I'm currently playing right now. Uh, I really wanted to get a Ragnarok feel and I decided Tree of Savior was the game I wanted to go check out. It's free to play, it doesn't hurt you. You know, a lot of people say it's pay to win and etc. But in my opinion, it doesn't matter if a game is pay to win because all, you, all that matters is if you're playing a game short term is to have fun. You don't have to get to the point of the nitty gritty. Just like Arcage, right? Just because a lot of people exploit it and abuse doesn't mean everybody should quit the game. If you're having fun, you should stay and play because there's a lot of fun sandbox elements that are very unique to Arcage that you know you should continue to use. 
Um, Path of Exile Metamorph comes out on the 13th. Um, this is something I'm super excited for, especially because they changed the influence system. Um, so there's no more Shaper vs. Elder on your Atlas. It's going to be now the Four Conquerors. Um, then there is a large Grimdon update coming in November. We'll most likely be checking out. I want to say the end of November, considering this video is November 20th already. I'm super excited for that. Wilson full release comes out on January. Uh, January is... Uh, but pretty far away and I don't really know what we're like Wilson has never really had much content updates So I'm kind of concerned about Wilson, but it doesn't hurt to try it out uh, Then there's the Lost Ark NA release uh, the Lost Ark NA release um, Is probably I don't even I don't think they have a date I don't know if it's ever gonna happen But there's currently Lost Ark in Russia and we can use a VPN to play although whenever I have to use a VPN I'm not really sure what's up with it. I just feel like I can't get this I don't know, I have this weird thing. I just, it's like I have OCD trying to play a game in a foreign area for me. It's like the ping feels all weird and things feel janky, but you know, if there's nothing else to do, I'll be more than happy to try it. You just gotta bug me enough times. Uh, Warcraft 3 Reforge, whenever they release their custom games, uh, just gonna skip that one. Then there's Terraria Journey's End, which I believe comes in December. I really like Terraria. Uh, Terraria is a super fun game that has, it's like a mixture of I want to say Minecraft, but it's not really Minecraft. It's like a combat-oriented 2D Minecraft, I guess you could say. Uh, then there's It Lurks Below, which is just another game I threw in there. I'm not really sure if I'm going to play it, uh, but It Lurks Below is kind of like a Terraria knockoff. That pretty much covers everything uh, that I was trying to say, essentially. Uh, I do want to say, again, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I want to briefly explain again that my... You know, opinions are not meant to be hostile in any way. They are not even meant for you to follow. They're just meant as my opinions because I feel it's justified to make a video like this because I just get so many questions on my live stream and this really does help so it's not always being spammed. I actually looked in my uh, past broadcast, not my broadcast, but on my dashboard uh, on Night Dev, how many times the command Archage has been used in the past two and a half days. It's been 793. So as you can see, it would be nice to take an influx of that chat and just have it go towards the YouTube video so that it doesn't get spammed all the time. Uh, but anyway, I love you guys. I hope you guys can find joy in ArcAge 2. I hope those of you guys who are leaving ArcAge um, from you know previous reasons who have left already will continue to watch because I would love to go on a journey with you guys again in future MMOs. You know, uh, one of the things I did in ArcAge that was so much fun was getting to play with the guild, and the guild was pretty much all viewers like like you guys. For example, Kill All is the guy I was talking about who got banned. Uh, unlucky, you know. Uh, Corey's is a guy who's been subbed for like 30 months since the Warcraft days. Paint is Candy Ink from there and Mumo is Amphon. So they're all viewers and, you know, I had a bunch of fun playing together. It was kind of sad to see that it was like so elite in Arcage. Like, if you're not, if you don't have like a super elite squad of people, it's really difficult to do some of the endgame content. Or I don't really know how to call it endgame, but the, the really highly contested content, I guess you could say. I'm really keen to try out another MMO with you guys because I had a blast, man. I really did. And I will say this, if I didn't have a group of friends to play Arcage with, I may have actually left the game right away, like super, super soon. So I'm really happy for that. As you can see there, you could see the uh, the utility of using the Chrome Stealth sub just to show you guys, well, I can't really show you, here you go. This is the advantage of the Chrome Stealth sub. You can actually have yourself, another person behind you, and uh, the actual mount itself stealth, which is cool because here you can see there is an obvious stream sniper. Um, I don't need to explain what that means or anything, but a super obvious one who got outplayed by the Chrome Submarine, so that was really cool. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope you guys have been enjoying yourself. I hope you guys had a wonderful time as usual. Uh, I'm gonna work on putting up a PoE2 reaction video next. Remember, if you liked the video, well, I guess I've said this enough, so you guys get the gist. I'm just kind of a little flustered here trying to make it. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.